what is it with what we're seeing in crude right now? Is it, is it the DEXI? Is it demand? Is it just the, the thin trading when it comes to the speculative action in oil? Or is it all three? <laughs> Look, I'd, I'd actually say you probably nailed all three. <laughs> but in terms of what's driving it fundamentally, it's the fact that we're seeing central banks prioritize containing inflation uh, over what the results of, of higher rates mean when, it talks, when you talk about uh, future growth. And I think that mindset has really shifted the market to grow worried about what future demand will look like. And given that the Fed is, is really front and center here, you know, we are seeing uh, the U.S. dollar surge. And, and both of that is really what we think right now is, is driving that, that oil price lower. Uh, but looking ahead, it's not just a demand side story. You know, the, the EU sanctions that are coming um, can have implications on the supply side, which we believe can see oil prices bounce by the end of this year. Um, and we're calling $100 for Brent in the fourth quarter. And very much that's, that's based around what, what happened to the EU sanctions, uh, which come into effect 5th of December for oil and for refined products 5th of Feb next year. Just in terms of your base case, so you're saying $100 for Brent by the end of the year. But would that also align with the levels that we are currently seeing on the DEXI right now? So in spite of the, the elevated pricing of the DEXI, that price would be in effect? Yeah, look, it's, it's probably the risk is a bit lower. Like, look, oil has fallen more than we thought in the last few weeks, for sure. Um, and, you know, that US dollar strength has, has absolutely uh, been one that has probably moved a, a lot stronger than, than we thought. But still, the, the, the view that we'll get a rebound um, it's it's something that that you know when we look at supply side and we've seen how sanctions have worked in other markets, it really draws our attention. And and I guess you know look, uh, if you look at coking coal markets, which you know is is not one that you know oil pays attention to, but when those sanctions came in from EU, prices rose from under two hundred dollars a ton to two hundred seventy dollars a ton. So the impact of sanctions, even when prices are tumbling, it can be quite significant. And this is something that when we look at oil, it's something that, that we're looking at closely, but it could definitely tighten the market considerably. And the, the ballpark that we've put out there is about one and a half percent of global supply tightening as a result of, of those, those EU sanctions.